Hello everybody, Greystill Plays, and we're back with more RimWorld Call of Cthulhu Edition, no time for BS. So a few things real quick, we've got a couple of new individuals here that have been named. Chungo took the spot of Fumiko, who was our psychotic patient that joined the colony. Not a ton of skill, what the crap is this? Rare Thrumbos. A small herd of Thrumbos have wandered into the area, peaceful by nature. They do some crazy shit though when you start to attack them. So we do have some thrombos now. Thrombos uh, with this level of colony, can we beat them? I'm not really sure. Oh god. There is some things on fire. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, the alpha beavers. There's still a few out there eating some stuff. Someone also mentioned that there was a bunch of steel just laying around. So let's go ahead real quick and un whatchama call it that. <laughs> Unforbid it. So that we can use it if we need to. A few of the issues that we're having right now is we are... I'm going to get everyone kind of moving around. We are really low right now on components. Like, I think we have one. Yes, we have one component. That is an issue. We are going to need more. We are pushing through on the research front because we need to get... What are you doing real quick? You're cleaning blood. Why are you cleaning blood? You should be researching. Oh, because you have a one on clean. We'll put you with a four on clean. I do not want you cleaning. I want you researching all the time. And when you're not researching, you need to be sad about the bad choices that you have made. And you need to get back to researching. Just kind of taking a look over here just to make sure that these trees aren't going completely nuts. Like I had said, there's a couple of alpha beavers over here. I really don't care what they're doing. I'm not that worried about it. This thrombo, I don't think I'm going to attack it. It would probably end up killing me. Because all we have right now for defensive techniques is the gun complexes. Oh, the alpha beavers are heading into the colony. How do I feel about this? Take a look at this alpha beaver. These alpha beavers I might attack. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to. Let's go ahead and grab some random guy as well who has also joined the team along with Chungo. I'm going in the order that I receive requests to come into the colony, so that's why they are currently in the colony. Chungo uh, bringing many, many blocks into the colony, which we do need. But I, I am going to go ahead and get rid of these freaking these frickin', um, beavers over here. Let me go ahead and start right here. And one of these right here as well. We'll see how well they can fire. The turret moves fairly slowly. I think perhaps that is the negative to the turret style. In fact, let's go and select both turrets. I don't know why I'm selecting only one at a time. There we go. Oh, yeah. Throwing plenty of shots down range. We're going to have all kinds of alpha beaver meat. This is what you get for ruining the woodlands, you little bastards. Suck it big time. Why are you not firing, Fabigrate? You should be firing. Fire. Fire down here. Do so as I do as I command. There we go. Oh, we've got a um We've got an injured Alpha Beaver now. I think that there's a few more kind of sitting over here in the corner. There we go. Now they're behind, so we'll go grab this Alpha Beaver. Attack, damn it! You too, Fabigrate. Don't uh don't you just don't you just hang around doing nothing? I want you attacking at all times. Oh yeah, man. We are we are this is an alpha beaver slaughter of epic proportions. There's only one alpha beaver left. And I don't think that he will be coming into the colony anytime soon. Now someone wondered if you get just going to real quick check on this. Uh that fire that fire may start getting out of control. I may need to take care of that. We've got another fire raging over here. Someone had mentioned, do people get, does the skill matter when you're firing the weapon? I don't know. Let's see if the fire goes up as they shoot. I don't think it does. No, it certainly doesn't. So just something to consider. I'm going to go take these guys off of here. They are not going to need to worry about this any longer. Let's go ahead and unforbid all of this. So they can start butchering the corpses. You can see some guy right now going for that butchering. Some guy took the place of our heavy, heavy drug abuser. We also have a rat over here that has a lot of malnutrition. I don't know why, though. There's, I think, food everywhere? I'm not really sure exactly what rats eat. Everything, right? I mean, is there anything they wouldn't eat? Don't we have some kibble right here? 
they're not restricted, or at least that rat is not restricted, so I don't know why he is, um, I don't know why he is not getting any kind of food. But, a lot of this, a lot of this alpha beaver stuff that we got is going to allow us to get through this kind of harsh winter a lot easier, because it is, it, you can already see, it's getting very cold outside. So, other thing that we're going to need to do, let us start getting some mining done. Uh, the reason why is because, like I said, we're going to need a lot more components. There's at least three over here that we can grab. If we can find any that are reasonably close to the base, that would be nice. Um, I don't think that there's a lot, though. I can see one hiding in here. We'll kind of mine this area out. Um, this isn't super close, but there is some additional machinery over here as well. And then probably one of the things that we're going to have to do is just sell and maybe get some components that way. I'm going to zoom out real quick just to make sure I'm not missing anything right in the immediate area. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, but you know what I did almost miss? We got an Ibex Joe here that is dead, so that is going to be mo more food for the colony. I wonder what killed this doe. Bitten by a timber wolf. All right. Desiccated rat over here as well. This rain, very timely. Going to be putting out all the fires that have started, so I really appreciated that. Although, shouldn't it really be snow instead of rain, probably? Eh, I would assume. Given the temperature? Well, I guess it's not freezing yet, so maybe not. Big silver ore down here. In fact, silver ore to the point where... I think I'm going to go ahead and make sure I get this mined right now. Is this silver ore over here? No, it's sandstone. Um, just something I wanted to check on. And I think that that will... Oh, there's more compacted machinery way down here. Pretty far from the colony. Um, I don't know how I feel about that, but... As long as we start making some better clothing, I don't think it's going to be a problem. One of the things I would like to start making is uh, jackets and parkas and stuff. So let's get that started up. We do not have a tailoring bench right now. We're going to need one, but the issue is I don't... I, we may have just gotten enough, um, enough, whatchamacallits, you know, the things that you need to make stuff. That was really, really nonspecific. Uh, we may have just gotten components. That's what I'm talking about. We may have just gotten enough components in order to do this. Let me go over to the electric tailoring bench, which is what we do need. Uh, I don't mind making it out of wood. Not at all. Not in the slightest. And for this, we will put it uh, lined up over here, maybe fine. I don't know. I might want to, let me think here. If I do it like this, and then I put one like this, good. They can meet. So I'm actually going to do it this way. I'm going to start stacking them up this way. And it takes three components. So just something for me to remind myself. Let's see if this rat is still starving to death. Man, it is. This poor rat. Everyone's sleeping in their boxes again, which is nice. But I've got nothing I can feed the, to this rat, which is really sad. I can't even right-click on it and feed it, so I guess it's just going to die. Got a little bit of synth thread, too. Something else to consider. How much silver do we have? A uh, thousand. Hmm, that's not bad. How much gold do we have? Do we have enough for a multi-analyzer? Holy crap, we have 105 gold? I had no idea. Ho, oh, oh. Big issue, though is I don't think that we have the multi-analyzer prepared yet. Uh, if we go over to research, I think that we have to research it. We do. Okay, so we are going to research the multi-analyzer. That's definitely something I do want to complete. But uh, getting ourselves pumped right toward the research. Uh, not research. Uh, you know what? Hmm. Hold on. Let me do something real quick. I want to get this person up here because I want to get this stuff turned off if we're not using it to kind of conserve some energy because you can see right here, our batteries, there is not much energy left. In fact, it's going down fairly quickly and I'm going to turn this off too. Get all this stuff off for right now. Flick this, flick this, and we'll only turn this on when it's time to actually utilize this area because I'm hoping that will keep... In fact, we could probably turn this off as well uh, in the meantime. It's not like anyone's going to be using it. 
see if I can get up there. And hopefully that'll keep us with enough energy to get through the night. Because if we don't, it is going to be really, really warm in here. Uh, something someone had said a while back was to stagger these. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and turn this one on 11 degrees Celsius. And this one will stay on 21 degrees Celsius. And I think that staggered will allow us to utilize... Like right here, you can see this one now is utilizing a low power amount. And this one is the only one utilizing a high powered amount. But it should... Now, it gets a little bit colder in here, just because of the nature of the beast. Um, but we don't, it's just, back when we had that, that issue and our breaker blew, and then all the, all of our batteries went down to zero, we had that real issue when that happened. Uh, we're really gonna need, we are really gonna need this steam geyser to get a thermal uh, generator on it as quick as possible. In fact, I may put down... Oh, we don't really have the components for it. Let's fast forward things along. We're going to run out of energy for sure. In fact, we just did. Which means that it's going to start getting pretty cold. Okay, good. The sun's coming up just in time to get everything running as it should be. And we have an individual here who we can trade with. I just need to find out who's going to be our best trader. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's pure black. And it is. So, we'll wait a second here, and then we'll get him trading. I think that that's long enough. Let's go ahead over here and see exactly what we can do. Still some alpha beavers out here. Pretty funny, actually. Uh, we can sell those nutrient paste meals, but I'm not going to do that. We can... This is interesting. This is really weird. Hold on a second. These fine meals are worth as much as these simple meals? Yeah, they are. The simple meals and the fine meals are worth the exact same amount. That is very odd. I don't usually see things like that. Um, I don't know why that would be. Let's get rid of this crap. We got some shirts that are in terrible condition. We can get rid of all of this. I do want to sa save the Kevlar helmet. And our medicines uh, we will keep for right now. Just because we don't really have that many of them. And everything else, they're not really buying anything else. So that's what we'll do for right now. Better than nothing. Um, something I just want to check. Just wanted to see if there was any other medicine on the map. And there isn't. Oh, look at this. Hold on. We got some muffalos that have come in here. Ooh. I might want to tame these things. If, if I have anyone that's decent at uh, messing with animals, this might be a really good idea to try and tame some muffalos. Uh, we have a couple people with some fives, and then, holy crap, some random person, besides being our cook, is our animal extraordinaire, and there should be enough plant life to where we can keep the muffalos grazing, I think, so let's go ahead and set these guys on tame, let's go over here and put some random guy as our handler, that means that Fabigrate will probably be doing a bit of cooking, but that's fine. We're going to we're going to go ahead and get that started. Yeah, if we can if we can do that, that is going to be really really awesome. I I definitely want to see if we can get some muffalos in here because muffalos are kind of a cool creature that I did really enjoy having in one of my other playthroughs. They create milk. Um they have a 13% chance to tame too. That's a damn good percent chance to tame. Um, but anyway, they create milk, they create wool, and in a pinch, they can soak up some real damage. Uh, and I'm always impressed by that. We need to get this started, though. We need to get this reconnected. 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 And that should be it. Um, again, we don't have an orbital trade station quite yet, so I'm not worried about this at the moment. Uh, Fabigrate... Let me think about this for a second. Can I get you to flick this on if you would? He does have the he does have the flick on. Uh, please toggle the power on this. Why did I what did I toggle this off or something? There we go. Go ahead and turn this on. We want this on ASAP. There we are. Excellent. Now things are doing a little bit better. Uh, pure black spirit. Back to researching for you. I know that they were getting some steel. We do have some steel just kind of laying around, but again. Thermal generation is our top priority. I wonder how the research is doing 
while we're at it. Eh, 11 research. That is not bad. We do have compacted steel up here as well. That is something that I should probably get us. That, sh that is probably something I should get us having. <laughs> that is something I should mine so that we can have the steel there. Because we can always use more steel. Let's, um, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. We're going to grab this and this and this. Because that is all steel that we're going to need. And looking around. Now, if I really wanted to get micro-y, I could turn these off. I think I can set this like this, though. There we go. I don't have to micro it that much. I can just set it on a low power uh, intake. And that does help. And in fact, I may do the same here. This way we don't have to micro it that much. There we go. Yeah, that does help. Actually helps pretty good. How many meals do we have? We still have 33 meals. So that's decent. Everyone here is smoothing the ground. Just something kind of to do. So that A, they can get some construction skill up. If we go over here and we go to construction. You're going to see that smoothing the floor really does help. Especially because we didn't have anyone with any real good construction abilities. Um, what is going over? What is going on over here? Oh, cleaning, I assume. And an eclipse at night. That's helpful. Great. So happy. So happy to have an eclipse. Got an alpha beaver that's downed. Kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and rescue this alpha beaver. Oh, never mind. We don't have any unreserved beds because everyone's inside of the beds. I'm not really worried about it. Like I said, we've got a lot of alpha beaver meat here that is uh, being spread throughout the colony. L just taking a look here. How much time do we have on our batteries? Eh, a little bit. How much does this... Man, this thing uses two, 250 watts. Um, I mean, I've got to turn this off. Like, this is the thing that's drawing the most energy. Please go ahead and turn this damnable thing off. There we go. That should help out a little bit. Especially now since we're dealing with an eclipse. Um, it's going to be cold inside, but I don't think it's going to be, I mean, they're not getting hypothermia is what I'm trying to say. So they're going to get the slept in the cold, but they're not dying. So that's good enough. So now it's just all a matter of how long will the freaking eclipse last? Um, hopefully not too long. It is lasting a little while. That doesn't make me super happy. Some random guy, what are you doing? You're meditating and you're going to be relaxing. And we can only research if we have the power to do so. So, I guess what I'll do is just kind of like let things go for right now. Because we're going to run out of power here in a minute. I know we are. We've got 24 stored. Man. I don't know. Maybe we can get it done. Let's, um... Let me wake up Pure Black Spirit. And see if we can get them eating... And then researching. God, I want to get this done quick. Come on, get to that freaking table. All right, they're on the table. We have essentially no energy left. Oh, and we're almost there. Look at this BS, guys. Oh, that annoys the living crap out of me. Um, all right, we'll designate the power off of this. Man, we are going to be screwed. Uh, I have plans, though. There's This is okay. There's still something we can do. Hold on. Let me think about this. We can do a campfire. We can do two campfires. We can do a campfire here. Well, I don't know if I want to put it right next to the wall. I don't know if things catch on fire with campfires. I've never really messed with it. We'll put one there. Um, we'll put one there. And we'll put one here. We've got plenty of wood... So I'm not worried about that. And we'll do this campfire style. That's what we'll do. There we go. It will burn for at least a couple of days. And it should get the heat up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is going to be fine, guys. Wow. May even be a little bit too hot. Holy crap. I had no idea. I may want to put a vent in here. We do have a lot of uh, vent energy or a lot of steel. So I guess I'll go ahead and do that. While we're doing this, I'll toggle the power off of these. This way, if we do get some sun, it will uh, it'll save us some of the energy. So, there we go. Go ahead and hit that off. I also want to get this crap hauled. Let's go over to our haul things order. 
and just get this out of here get this out of here it just looks bad inside of the inside of the rooms um oh there's just some rubble over there that's happening temperatures inside 28 degrees huh 28 degrees celsius that's um it's actually too hot oh nice the solar eclipse is ending that's really really good all right so i'm gonna let him consume that meal real quick and yes they are going straight to research well now they're not because we just went into night so that's <laughs> man we are we, we get we get the kind of luck that only we can get i swear to god good thing is is that none of this stuff is gonna go bad because it's so area revealed kind of area oh that's that's not even an area that's like that's like one little spot. That's this isn't an area. Why does it say area revealed? I am not impressed with this area. I am impressed by there being additional uh, component areas over here. This uh, compacted machinery, which we do need again. So, still haven't managed to get any of the muffalos on our team. I don't think I'm gonna go over here real quick. Nope, no muffalos. That's for damn sure. So, but everyone has a lot more important things to be doing. So that's something to consider. 28 degrees outside. Another mad animal. Is it a, a local hare? Wow. Oh, oh, do you hear the sounds, guys? <laughs> what is that? That's so funny. Listen to this. It's a hare. What is it going to do? What is it going to do? Oh, no. The horror. I live in fear of the hair. Total fear, guys. One day left on the campfire, and that's fine. That's going to provide us enough, easily enough heat to uh, keep us where we need to be. In fact, since we're doing this, let's put a campfire in here. That's probably all we need to keep this area. It'll produce a little bit of... Um, let me put it over here. It'll produce a little bit of heat, and you know what? We If we had to, again, like, we're just kind of conserving energy right now, so that's why I'm doing this. And I wish I would have thought about this earlier. We could put a little bit of, a like, a torch in here, too. We'll just put a torch right there. This way it creates a little bit of light. And that'll help. Plus, we can designate this power on when the time comes. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure that this freaking rabbit... This rabbit is still Manhunter? Oh! Oh, really, rabbit? Hold, hold on. We need to, we need to fix this. This is ridiculous. Uh, some random guy. Do I want you attacking this? I'd almost rather have someone with a gun attack this thing. Funky Teaspoon, I think I'm gonna have do it. Funky, funky Teaspoon. No, don't go that way. Hold on. There we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is going to be hilarious. There we go. Take this hair out. This is ridiculous. Get get rocked, hair. Bit Oh crap. Funky teaspoon, you're getting You're getting the crap kicked out of you by a hair. This is ridiculous. Um I can't believe this is happening. I cannot believe this. Melee attack this hair. Funky teaspoon. Oh my god, look at all the bites! Look at all the bites! Maybe it's because they have a bad back! Okay. Funky Teaspoon, run. This is sad. Run, Funky Teaspoon. Run! For the love of all that is holy! Run! Faba Great, finish this guy off! Unbelievable! <laughs> Funky Teaspoon! His shooting's a 14! Is this what happens? Is this what happens when you get old and decrepit? That's unbelievable. That is absolutely unbelievable. Let's get this medical bed set up. I can't believe this. I <laughs> We're gonna have to use a friggin a, a friggin medicine on this guy And we don't have a ton of medicine actually, you know what man Do I do I don't want to use a medicine on this? Let's uh, let's put him at herbal medicine or worse. Let's go check everyone out real quick. I think that that's our friggin' healer too. It is. Of course, of course it is, right? Of course it is. There is, is there no one else that can heal worth a damn? Faba great. Excellent. 
Oh, God. All right, well, let's give this a shot, I guess. This is gonna be interesting. All right, anyway, while while uh, Gray still gets bad luck, continues the game here, we are moving along to the 1800 that we need for the geothermal generator. And we do have enough components now, which is super important. Minor risk break for who? Everyone seems to be doing very well. Some random guy. What? What in the... What in the name of Jesus happened over here? What happened? Some random guy. Have you been... Bruise, cracks, sanity loss, extreme, sanity loss, w uh, what, where, what did this? What the hell did this? What were they beating the shit out of each other? Oh guys, Call of Cthulhu, going crazy up in here, but, but, this is good though. Look at all this meat. We need to haul these dead muffalos. We need to get these things butchered. Oh, wow. We're going to have meat for days. Meat for days, guys. All right. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward things along because things are doing damn well outside right now or damn well right now. Um, how? What's the temperature in here for you, pure black spirit? That's eh, pretty, pretty cold. Geothermal generators online. I will probably get... The multi-analyzer up next because we like I said I did want to do that and we do have a lot you go back to researching Where do you think you're going and we do have a lot of gold? So that's good. I can also get a really fancy bed up. That would kind of be good, but For right now first things first and you guys know exactly what it is. It is gonna be geothermal generators all day long And I'm hoping that Fabigrate helps Funky Teaspoon here big time with all those cuts and bruises they ended up getting. Chungo, what are you doing? Oh, you're still coring out the side of a mountain. That's fine. Once Fabigrate is done doing the healing, I think that he should be done by this point. Um, th that bad back, man. It's still there. Old gunshot as well. It, does the bad back give him... Okay, I was just making sure it doesn't give him any kind of negative for pain. And it doesn't, which is good. Doing some butchering real quick. Grabbing a meal, hopefully, for our man over there. Fabigrate, do me a favor. Build this. Build this generator. Like ASAP. Why are you butchering? Food binge. Some random guy. Oh, God. Please work on the geothermal generator. Because now that we're going to have a food binge going on, I am super pissed off about that. Chungo. Okay, good. Someone is going to be working on the campfire. I do kind of want that campfire made. Just so that things aren't quite so cold inside. We we do have Chungo in there at all times. There we go. That's going to start heating things up big time. Some random guy. Still just kind of wandering around. Fabigrate going back and forth to the geothermal generator, which is good. Because again, we're going to have issues with power as the night goes on. Although the cool thing is, is that since we're using the bonfires everywhere, we're not taking a lot of energy at all. Which is kind of nice. Another minor risk break for Fabigrate. Um, let me go check to see why. He's cold, he's hungry, he's in the darkness, and he's uncomfortable. So, hmm. The uncomfort... We can get fixed. I'm just going to have to make sure to make some chairs and stuff. Um, but man, I really want him to get finished doing this. There we go. Uh, some random guy back back in command. Let's go ahead and allow him to get a simple meal. So we will use um, refueling campfires, Chungo. Let's have her working on this geothermal generator. Her, um, She's looking pretty good right now. She seems pretty happy. And if we can get this thing built tonight... Okay, good. Here we go. Now it's just a matter of whether or not she gets it. God, oh, you son of a bitch. I was gonna say, it's just a matter of whether or not she could make it happen. Tattered apparel. On someone as well. While we're doing this, let's check our power conduit. Uh, because we're going to need it... Going straight into here like this. Chungo... 
You are my you are my only hope. God, Chungo. <sighs> All right, we're. Hold on. Let me um. Let me see something real quick. All right, her construction is just too bad. I'm gonna have to have her go to sleep. I need someone. I'm, I'm probably gonna need uh, some random guy doing this. I am gonna need some random guy doing this. He should be okay here in a little bit. There we go. He's gonna get himself a little bit of a meal. Oh, he's cooking a fine meal. Now he's gonna go relax for a little bit. That's fine. Let him do that. Okay, now work on this jam generator, for the love of God. And I know you can't fail because your ability of construction is super high, right? I mean, this has to work, right? Bam! Excellent. Now I feel much better. Funky Teaspoon appears to be working on the power conduits. If we can get those power conduits going as quick as possible, that would be fantastic. There we go. Now things are set. I'm going to go over here to power just to double check. But now, yep, there we go. Everything is set. Everything is stored well. Our power level is shooting up, which is great. So now I can turn these on and probably keep them both at a normal level. I wonder, can I? how high can I bring this with it still being on low power? Let me, I'm, I'm taking a look here. I'm going to min-max the crap out of this. Still on low power, huh? Really? Still on low power? All right. Whatever. Um, I guess I'll keep it on that for now. So can I can I bring this down and have it on low power? Huh. High low. Let's keep it at uh, maybe 19. Wow, that works really good. Like, really good. So we can turn this on and have this at about... I don't know. We'll have it about 18 degrees Celsius in here, or at least we'll try. And then we'll turn this on as well. And power issues are solved. Totally solved. Let's find out where these beavers are. Last time we had a group of beavers, we had a great time slaughtering the crap out of them. Oh, there they are. They're way, well, they are way down there. It's going to be a while until we see them. I'll let them dig away at the, uh, I'll let them dig away at the, at the, uh, the trees. I'm not really that worried about it. So, Muffalo, Muffalo meat, 523, yeah, yeah, I'd say, I would say that we have plenty of Muffalo, <laughs> plenty of Muffalo meat. Ooh, multi-analyzer just got done. From there, military grade turrets, I'm thinking, so we can get, so we can start getting better turrets online. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go straight into the military-grade turrets. And I'm going to keep her researching, as a matter of fact. Now that we've done this... This wouldn't work, Bench. Let me do what I wanted to do. Which was... I'll probably... Well, maybe I won't make parkas. Maybe I'll just make jackets. And the reason why is... We can make it out of muffalo leather, at the very least. Let me go ahead and clear all of this. And make it out of... Oh, you can make it out of muffalo wool. Um, we'll make it out of leathers then. Because I'm pretty sure we have a decent amount of leathers. Well, I don't know. I guess I'll just make it out of everything. The big issue with the parkas is that the parkas reduce the movement speed. And I don't think I want that. So I think I'm just going to work on making jackets. Well, or I'll work on erasing jackets. Let's do this one more time. There we go. Um, how many jackets to make? I'm going to start with one for right now. I don't know if anyone is on crafting. Chungo is, but they are god-awful. And I don't want them even going near the crafting. Fabigrate does have the ability to craft as well, and we definitely want him to craft. So that's what we're going to do. Let me go ahead and take a look at what we're dealing with under the gear area to see... Okay, so we need one jacket. Uh, we need a shirt eventually. We need some pants for poor... Poor um, Chungo. And we need another jacket. So at the very least, we need two jackets. I'll go ahead and put that there like that. So we will get that started. And... 
What's the temperature like in here? Oh, the other thing that's probably... What the hell is this? A mathematician named Jaeger Booser Compton calls at you from nearby. He's being chased by pirates. Biologically, he is 41 years old. He begs you for safety. You know what, guys? I think it's time to add someone to the colony to battle. Offer safety. We need to get everyone online. Oh, what is this down here? Oh, a dead elk. Thank you, uh... <laughs> Thank you, Boozer, for showing me that dead elk, because that's going to be more meat for the colony. Boozer, I'm going to get you up here, manning the gun complex, and also manning the gun complex will be probably some random guy, I think. And I'm going to get Pure Black Spirit and Funky Teaspoon over here so that we can start on that chungo you're gonna be kind of like a backup attacker just in case let's move you over here here comes the raid what does it look like two people oh that's not bad at all plasteel knife now they do have uh they do have personal shields so that's kind of cool um I can get that on our melee attackers. In fact, do we have a personal shield just kind of like laying around? I feel like maybe we did. What the hell died in here? <laughs> There's a squirrel that just died in here horribly. What is this, deep one meat? Yeah, we still haven't messed with that yet. Um, no, I guess we don't have any personal... I guess we don't have any personal... Um, whatchamacallit? You know what it is. Personal shields. Where are these guys at? There we go. Come on, guys. Bring it on. Bring it on into the morning time. Holy crap. All of our all of our poor bastards. All right, here we go. This is it, guys. Let's go ahead and start things up here. Fire the cannons, damn it. Oh, he's getting kind of close. There we go. Okay, man down. Excellent. That's it. They're fleeing. One guy goes down and that's it. All right. Well, great. I'm going to go ahead and undraft everyone. We will build a grave site real quick. And we will, we'll start doing graves over here in our area. You're going to get stripped. Your plasteel knife is good quality. That is going to be excellent cell loot. And cloth wise, a superior personal shield. That is a good shield. A very good shield, actually. Guys, hope you're enjoying RimWorld Call of Cthulhu Edition. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy, much love, and welcome Boozer to the team.